ladies and gentlemen, between Gomas and Magic. Go Magic switched to random at, at the start. I'm not sure if he did it in the countdown. But he did pick Terran last game. <laughs> and he picked random this game. But he's ended up, as you can see, with Terran. So it was a pretty... A pretty useless switch. Anyway, Gomas was pretty dominant there. Well, the magic did do the first push. He's he seems to like not be that reactive with his army. You have to be really careful with your siege tanks, and you have to make sure you siege up in time. I mean, they have a massive range, but if you don't abuse that, then you, they they are pretty weak units. And it's going to be curious whether we see something similar from these guys or something different now this shattered temple it's not MLG shattered temple so they can spawn in close positions this is why you're seeing the early scout from Gomas he probably saw that magic went random and he's probably gonna be oh hello we have some wonderful cheese going on right here he's triple scouting no, he's not. Oh God, this is a bit. Okay, he's obviously not a math major because you wouldn't put your barracks here if you're cheesing. You'd put them here because you know he's not going to be here. <laughs> Gomas and his early scout. This should be quite interesting, to be honest. Um, now, magic. Th okay, here's what could go wrong for Gomas. He could assume magic is 16. Uh, command centering. He could. But. Uh, I mean, he knows that barracks is solo because his is up. <laughs> and it started building a marine. So I, I'm pretty sure Gomas is going to slightly get, catch wind of what's going on. He sees no expansion. The question is where he goes here. He's not. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Poor magic. Gomez scouts both barracks by accident. He was checking here for a hidden expansion. So. And he has seen them, they are on his map. So Gomez puts down the second barracks and he's building up a bunker and. Magic, like, the, the surprise opportunity has gone. Um, there's no real pressure you can do anymore against this because Marines really get shut down hard by a bunker. This is why they're free, bunkers. I can rant about bunkers if, if you want me to. We've got some Terrans listening though, so they probably wouldn't appreciate that. This is your moment of glory. You've got TVT, so I can't com criticize the Terran all the way, all the way because there are, there are two, and that would just be boring. Anyway, Gomas has the fourth main. That was a factory, it wasn't it wasn't a barracks, but he has a lot of faith in this bunker and to right that they have no chance, but Magic is going he's going for the, he's changed his mind, he's going in for a stim timing push. It's you know options after this sort of opening. This is this is fairly solid that you can't expand on it because you've you've spent as much as a command center on the um on the barracks and you can't tech because your second gas was so late and you spent so much minerals on the barracks. Anyway, so I approved the stim timing. Now Gomas is gonna he's gonna go to the middle and he's just gonna see Marines. Which doesn't tell him too much actually because there's gonna be mostly Marauders coming out here. Here's the Marauder, but it doesn't have a good of shell. Helion going straight past, he's going to go straight into the main, he's going to see a second warder, and he's going to see something going on on the tech lab, so Gomas knows exactly what magic is planning. Helion scouts, proving his worth, and is he actually going to get an SCV? Oh, three health, three, there we go, he got one. He got one SCV, that pretty much pays for him. Anyway. Okay, Gomas really thinks there's there's marines coming. He's he's going for mass blue flame hellions. Okay, and two starports. 
I'm confused. Uh, okay, Blue Flame is about to finish, but he saw the Marauders. Like they, they, they killed his his Hellions. Okay, he's just gonna. He knows magic is rallying his units to the middle of the map. Uh, I very much like this idea. This is the the advantage of the new, new map. Your masses come around the side where the the one Zelnaga Tower doesn't come. When you had two Zelnaga Towers before, you you couldn't uh, defend. Sorry, you could you couldn't go around on ground anyway for this harass. And these blue flame Hellions are going to do a world of damage in Magic's line. Magic is pushing up the front and he scans up. He sees a supply depot and Gomas does not have enough to uh, to defend this. Stims up, he's going to take down this bunker in so quickly. These uh, these mortars are doing a huge amount of damage to these SUVs, but he doesn't have any at home. So this is it. Uh, this is all or nothing. It's down on Gomez now. But he just has to keep his SUVs alive because there is a Banshee in production. Magic is going to have to come up here. He's going to have to see the starport and try and snipe it if he wants to win this game. He's got to he's got to switch to the starport. This Banshee's going to come out pretty soon. He's just going for the barracks there. He, I'm not sure what he's afraid of. Why didn't he go further in? Gomas is just he's checking there's no more hidden expansions with his Hellions, but but Magic he's putting up a bunker. Why are you putting up a bunker? There's a starport with a tech lab there. There's two starports. You've got a you've got a switch dude and here comes the Banshee. Banshee pops, snipes the only marine that's left, and there's only mortars left, and poor magic is is stim timing was checked, was uh, was crushed. And it comes down to the questionable decision about where he proxies his barracks, I'd say. And uh, these last mortars are gonna get on the stim, but alas, and that's a good game for Magic. Solid build by Gamas, and that was a TV random, so he just played reactionary and it worked out for him.